Hello viewers, welcome to the second section of this course, installing your first application. The topics we will cover include gathering requirements and creating a new database in Odoo, knowing the basic Odoo interface, creating your first customer, entering a product in Odoo, entering a product invoicing page, setting the company information and entering your first sales order, entering the line items on a quotation sales order, invoicing the sale. Now let's move to the first video of this section, gathering requirements and creating a new database in Odoo. In this video, we will learn about implementing Odoo using a modular approach, selecting a database name, loading demonstration data. Setting up an Odoo system is no easy task. Many companies get into trouble believing that they can just install the software and throw in some data. Inevitably, the scope of the project grows and what was supposed to be a simple system ends up in a confusing mess. Fortunately, Odoo's modular design will allow you to take a systematic approach to implementing Odoo for your business. Implementing Odoo using a modular approach. The barebones installation of Odoo simply provides you with a limited messaging system. To manage your Odoo implementation, you must begin with the planning of the modules with which you will work first. Odoo allows you to install just what you need now and then install additional Odoo modules as you better define your requirements. It can be valuable to take this approach when you are considering how you will implement Odoo for your own business. Introducing Silkworm, our real-world case study. To best understand how to work with Odoo, we will build our exercises around a real-world case study. Silkworm is a mid-sized screen printer that manufactures and sells t-shirts as well as a variety of printing. Using Odoo's modular design, we will begin by implementing the sales order module to set up the selling of basic products. In this specific case, we will be selling t-shirts. As we proceed through this video, we will continue to expand the system by installing additional modules. Creating a new database in Odoo. If you have installed Odoo on your own server, you will need to first create a database. As you add additional applications to Odoo, the necessary tables and fields will be added to the database you specify. If you have just installed a fresh copy of Odoo, you will be prompted automatically to create a new Odoo database. Here you can see the Odoo form to create database. Odoo provides basic instructions for creating your database and how they are used. Selecting a database name. When selecting a database name, choose a name that describes the system and that will make clear the purpose of the database. There are a few rules for creating an Odoo database. Your database name cannot contain spaces and must start with a number or letter. Also, you will need to avoid commas, periods and quotes. Underscores and hyphens are allowed if they are not the first character in the name. It can also be a good idea to specify in the name if the database is for development, testing or production purposes. For the purposes of our real-world case study, we will use the database name silkworm-dev. We have chosen the hyphen dev suffix as we will consider this a development database that will not be used for production or even for testing. Loading demonstration data. Notice the box labelled check this box to evaluate Odoo. If you mark this checkbox when you create a database, Odoo will preload your tables with a host of sample data for each module that is installed. This may include fake customers, suppliers, sales orders, invoices, inbox messages, stock moves and products. The purpose of the demonstration data is to allow you to run modules through their paces without having to key in a ton of test data. For the purposes of our real-world case study in this video, we do not load demonstration data. Specifying our default language. Odoo offers a variety of language translation features with support for more than 20 languages. All of the examples in this video will use the English US language option. Be aware that depending on the language you select in Odoo, you may need to have that language also installed in your base operating system. Choosing an email and password. Unlike previous versions of Odoo in which the database was created with an administrator account named admin, Odoo 10 uses the email address you provide as your administrator account. This is also known as the super user account. The password you choose during the creation of the database will be the password for this admin account. Managing databases in Odoo. The database management interface allows you to perform basic database management tasks such as backing up or restoring a database. Often with Odoo, it is possible to manage your databases without ever having to go directly into the Postgres database server. It is also possible to set up multiple databases under the same installation of Odoo. For instance, you may want in the future to install another database that does load demonstration data and may be used to install modules simply for testing purposes. Nice! We have successfully gathered requirements and created a new database in Odoo. 